Hi, I'm Paul Perdue, and I am the Infrastructure Nerd. And today we're going to talk about, oh, something funny that happened to me the other day that made me realize how stubborn I can be. This is my road. I live down here, okay? Uh, when you go down my road, you take a little jog, and then you continue on, and you, you get to the main road. This is really all the same road here. You've seen them, these country roads. They take a little jog, and they turn. Now, every once in a while right here, this is how you get to town, okay? So when I get to this stop here, I can turn left and go the long way, or I can turn right and kind of sneak in the back way. But this area right here, when it's spring, or when we have the flooding that we had a couple of weeks ago during the middle of the summer, this gets flooded. This road gets flooded and it's closed. Now, I usually know when that's happened, at least after the first time. So I came up to the stop sign here. And keep in mind, I normally turn right and go here, and I saw all this traffic coming this way. I had to stop. I normally don't have to stop. Just ask my kids. I just blow right through there. It's a country road. And I, I stopped, and I saw all this traffic, and I thought to myself, oh, yeah, that's right. The, the road's closed. And so what did I do? I turned right. And, and as I turned left here, I saw, I saw more traffic coming at me. And I thought to myself, oh, that's right. The road's closed. But what did I do? I kept going. I kept going until I got up here and I'm like, what the hell? The road's closed. What am I doing? I should have turned left way back here. Maybe you don't have a, a back dirt road that you have sometimes closed, but we've all done this. You go to the, you go to the uh, elevator and the down button's already pressed and there's people there. And what do you do? You press the button. Why? Does it make the elevator come any faster? No. We have this, this fear that, um, that we can't trust the proof that's right in front of our eyes, the proof that the, the elevator will be coming because the button's been pressed, the proof that, that the road is closed because there's traffic here and normally there isn't, but that's because they're all going around the closed road. Uh, or we don't trust our ability to recognize that proof. And so we tend to go farther than we have to and waste time uh, doing things that aren't necessary because we're ignoring the proof that's in front of us. So what are you doing that with at work? What are, you, what are you going that extra step that you don't need to just because you don't trust what's in front of your eyes? How much time could you save if you, if you had a little bit of faith and could, could kind of rewire your brain to, to say, I, I understand that this is what's happening and I trust it? Because what's happening is on a very subconscious level. We, we don't walk up to that elevator button and say, I must press this. No, our subconscious says, you know, go ahead and press it. We know actually on a conscious level that it's not going to make the elevator come any faster. So what can you do in your life to eliminate this wasted effort that, that is caused by this lack of trust in the proof that's in front of you or the lack of trust in your ability to recognize that proof? That's my rant for today. What's yours?